Leo Saldana, Gaurav Bhatia and Aryama Sundram we made a couple of important points. One, there was actual violence. There was a genuine crime that was committed. There can be no question about that because that was seen by the whole country and therefore the police is at this moment trying to investigate the conspiracy that led to the crime and in that they are probing Disha and others like her and if evidence is found they will be prosecuted and if evidence isn't found a court of law will let them go. Why make this out to be such a wrong act by the police? Let's go across to Leo Saldana. Thank you for the opportunity and I must start by saying that I just uh, came away meeting a senior police officer and uh, the delegation that met him uh, gave him two representations. One representation was to file an FIR against the uh, Home Minister of Haryana who has called out to a tweet asking that uh, Disha Ravi be slaughtered for being an anti-national. Uh, the second representation actually asks the Karnataka police to file a complaint against, uh, uh, to raise an FIR against the Delhi police. Now the first is obvious why uh, that FIR has to be lodged because aid speech has become almost the mantra by which any dissent is attacked. And the party in power at the center and for us also in the state uh, attacks us for anything that we say. I mean, if I complain about potholes, tomorrow I'll be an anti-national. It is as ridiculous as it gets. But the second part of what the second delegation uh, representation we made speaks to the fact that there is a Delhi High Court judgment from about a year and a half ago which very clearly tells the Delhi police what an interstate arrest ought to be. Now, every Delhi police senior officer knows what, to, what the judgment is. But when it came to Disha Ravi's case, they flew in, they picked her up, they did not give her legal counsel, she was under duress, her mother is under duress, they put her in a plane, take her to Delhi and produce her before a magistrate on a Sunday. Now, I would like to know, for instance, did the magistrate ever ask, did you bring her here with a transit warrant at all? Or did you just pick up anybody? I mean, you know, the power that Delhi police has exhibited through Disha Ravi's case, today the Home Minister of Karnataka was asked, was that right? And what shocked me was what the Home Minister, Mr. Bombay says. He says there is no need for such protocols. Karnataka police can go anywhere and pick up anyone they want and come. So it's all fine. Is this the rule of law BJP believes in? Because let me say also this. Swadesh Chakran Manch, Professor Kumar Swami is one of their senior leaders. I have worked with him. He is an RSS man. I don't like that RSS organization. But on issues, we have worked with him. He has actually taken issues against, which were against yes, nature, against biodiversity, against farmers, to for us, which you would probably say are seditious now. You see, okay. this is where so, the Avani Bansar, so, I, I want you to respond to the substantive the points the that, that Gaurav Bhatia and Aryama Sundram made. One, that there was a protest which involved a crime. It's not as if dissent is the same as incitement. There is incitement here. There are parts of that toolkit which say, you know, even if these laws are withdrawn, the agitation must continue, where it seems as if the problem, the, the idea is to destabilize the current government which is not just a political protest per se, but something deeper and sinister. Respond to Arya Masundram and Gaurav Bhati. Avni Bansal. Yes, now very quickly, I'll just take a minute to respond to two points made by each of the speakers, Mr. Sundram and Mr. Bhatia. First to what Mr. Sundram said, and I completely agree with him, that what happened on 26th of January is absolutely deplorable, and everybody without an exception had said that it was very unfortunate, that you know uh, what happened was absolutely not done. The question, however, and the legal question is, Rahul, that just because an incident happened, are you going to say that you have the right and does law permit you to pin anybody? It's like something was wrong, the government or the system needs to find somebody responsible for it. And if that rule be so, if that be so, then when the Delhi riots happen in the CA and RC case, why have we not been able to pin anybody? Who we have pinned are people who are actually people, all of whom, who were protesting against CA and RC. What about pinning even a single individual who incited violence? Again, discriminate application. What Mr. Bhatia said, you know, that if you believe in freedom of speech and expression, look at the hypocrisy. Why not let Sachin Tandulkar say what he wanted to say? I just have a question in response. Then why not let a Prashant Bhushan, a senior advocate, say what he wanted to say? Why not let a Sanjay Hegre say what he wanted to say? And just as of yesterday, Tanzila Anis, a worker with Ghana, some tweets, and the entire BJP machinery comes into with their toolkit, with similar tweets being posted by actors, by celebrities okay. across Twitter. So